Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series in control systems. In this video lecture we shall consider a numerical on block reduction technique and finally to get the transfer function C of S divided by R of S. The block diagram looks something like this. So how do we, sh uh, how do we start with? So first uh, let me start with a solution. So what we do here is if I look at this block diagram the blocks G1 and G4 are in series. So let me just uh, show it to you. Uh, these two blocks are in series. I can uh, reduce and I can write it as G1 into G4. And similarly, these two blocks, G2 and G3, so if I look these two, they are in parallel. So I can reduce and I can uh, write one block with G2 and uh, G3 connected in parallel. So that I can, uh, that I will do first. So first let me write blocks G1 and G4. G1 and G4 are in series. Are in series. Means I can reduce two blocks and I can write one block with G1 into G4 with the loop gain G1 into G4. Is that fine? Then uh, now the blocks G2 and G3. So let me write the, the same thing. Blocks G2 and G3 are in parallel. So let me write are in parallel. Means what? I can reduce two blocks and write it with one term that is G2 plus G3. So let me uh, do that thing now and uh, draw the uh, redraw the existing block diagram. So let me check that how does that look like. Initially we have two of these things here and which are connected with something like this. Yes. Then I have a block diagram G1, G4. In place of that, I will have only one block diagram, one block. So let me indicate that over here in terms of G1 and G4. And again, there is two blocks connected in the parallel G2 and G3 and that I would indicate that with only one block. Yes, rest of the things would remain the same. So let me indicate the terms uh, whatever I had earlier. This was the in input R. Here this was uh, my uh, plus. Uh, no, it is uh, minus as we can see over here. And then this is also plus. Is that right? Uh, no, that is also minus. Yes. Now. Here I would write G1 into G4, G1 into G4 and here I would write G2 plus G3. So I have reduced the uh, block diagram now. Is that fine? So just let me continue with the same thing. So here these are connected this way and these two blocks are connected. And finally I have the output C over here. Correct. So just me let me just draw the arrow marks because that is very important. The arrow marks would remain the same as they were earlier. This I would call it as a C. And there is one uh, feedback H1 that would remain still same at the position. Here uh, it would be that thing. So let me indicate that in the same place. fine yes and let me connect that to this adder yes and there is a block over here let me indicate that block what what is that that is h1 so let me call this as h1 rest of the things would still remain the same and there is a block h2 that would also still be remain as it was earlier. So let me consider uh, this one. Let me indicate the same thing as it was earlier because we did not do anything to that and that we, uh, we will retain that with the original appearance. 
yes almost done so here I'm going to draw one block with H2 correct yes this is how the arrow marks were there earlier so now what shall I do now so this is how it was earlier and this is how it has become now also what is the next step next step is like so here I can find one minor feedback loop what is that yes it is over here the term with G1 G4 and with H1 so what is that what does that become so that I can reduce the inner block and I can have only one block so that I'm going to do it now so let me consider the next one apart from that rest of the things would remain as they are so that I'm not going to touch anything so that I would leave it as it is right so rest of the things I'm not touching and I would leave them as they are so this block we have reduced that I'm going to write it what it is so here uh, G2 plus G3 would remain as it is and uh, H2 will be over here that is also going to be the same so that I did not touch at this moment so in every step we are trying to reduce one or two blocks at max so that we we should not get confused so let me just draw this as H2 I'm almost done yes and let me extend this till this point yes this is how this looks like so this is R and the output is a C so what I have inside this I did not touch to this block I would uh, write this as it is G2 plus G3 as it is and I did not touch the feedback H2 that also remains the same so it is in this direction now so I have reduced this inner uh, minor feedback loop so what is that uh, going to be it is going to be G1 G4 divided by that gets divided by 1 plus so is that plus or minus yes it becomes plus because this is the subtract that there is a minus sign here uh, that I need to uh, I, this comes here as 1 plus G1 G4 H1 is that okay so if there is a minus here at the denominator I would get plus if the plus over here I would get a minus at the denominator so that we can remember so what is the next step so I have reduced this till this point of time now so what is the next step so next step is quite simple what that could be one can guess it now so here the two blocks which are those two blocks these two are the blocks how they are connected they are in a series now so that I can reduce it and I will draw the reduced block diagram so let me consider sketching the reduced block diagram over here which looks like this so let me consider that rest of the things as I said I did not uh, touch them and I would retain as they are wherever uh, I'm reducing that only uh, I have to reduce it rest of the things I did not touch as I said and I'm going to retain them as they are yes almost done so just let me complete this yes looks like I am done join these two things yes and this is going to be the block H2 so I did not touch this so I would retain that as it is so this block is going to change so the reduced one I'm going to draw it over here yes let me complete this the input is R there is a negative sign over here the arrow marks would still remain the same in this way and this is C so what happens now as I said these two are in a series means I just have to multiply them G1 into G4 that gets multiplied with the block which is there in series G2 plus G3 so that gets multiplied that divided by what I have I have 1 plus G1 G4 into h1 
Is that okay? Yes. What is the last thing now? The last thing looks quite simple. Uh, this looks like a feedback loop. So this is the final feedback loop. So let me just draw this, uh, indicate that. So this is the feedback loop that I'm going to simplify that now. So what is that going to be? So let me write uh, over here. It is G1, G4 into bracket G2 plus G3. Is that right? So that gets divided by, so let me just draw that with a straight line. So that becomes very neat. Just a minute. Yes. Let me consider a straight line that gets divided by, so what do I have in the denominator? It is 1 plus G1, G4, then there is H1. So everything gets divided by. So everything gets divided by, it is what? So let me write now, it is 1 here. What is plus or minus? I'm going to get plus because this sign is negative. Hence I would get it as 1 plus. G into H, what is G? This is the entire thing is G. So that I'm going to consider G1 into G4 into bracket G2 plus G3. Everything gets divided by sorry just let me consider a straight line everything gets divided by so what I have uh, I have 1 plus G1 G4 H1 so this entire term gets multiplied with the feedback term that is H2 so rest all is the simplification of this so this I'm going to call it as output C of S divided by the input R of S as the transfer function. How does that look like? For that I just have to take the LCM of the denominator so that I can get it easily. So in the numerator, what do I have in the numerator? It is still same G1, G4 into bracket G2 plus G3 whole thing gets divided by so then I have 1 plus G1 into G4 into H1. So this gets multiplied with. So in the denominator I have 1 plus G1 G4 H1. So this is just the simplification what I'm doing now. I'm already done with the numerical. So rest is only the simplification in the denominator what I have. In the denominator I just have to take the LCM. So I would get 1 plus G1 into G4 into H1 plus. So this entire term I have. So what is that? It is G1 into G4 into bracket G2 plus G3. So it is G2 plus G3 into H2. So just let me extend this further. So this is what I have now. So what is the next step? So next step would be so I can cancel out this with this. So I just have to rewrite the expression uh, one more time lastly. So that would be I'm going to get this as equal to uh, in the numerator I will be left with g1 g4 into bracket g2 plus g3 so this is what i have in the numerator so what is there in the denominator in the denominator i am left with the term so let me write that term so what is there it is 1 plus g1 into g4 into h1 plus then i have g1 into g4 into bracket g2 plus g3 into h2 so this is the final answer the transfer function c of s divided by r of s for the given numerical so i have explained this numerical step by step i hope you people have understood if there are still any doubts please let me know them onto the comment section and i am very much happy to answer those doubts thank you so much for watching